Who's that? Hi, Carol Taylor Carney here at Pauline Arts, and I'm with Jackie Boyd. And Jackie is going to tell us about her beautiful painting right behind us. Jackie, this painting is called um, Still Life with Structures. And the structures are little houses that I made out of cardboard. And um, these little structures appear in a series of work that I'm working on right now. Um, they, they talk about home to me. They're simple structures, but they really are about home and what home means. Well, I see you've broken up the picture plane into, into sections because one of the things that attracted me to this is its glow, its light. And I'm look, sitting here and I'm thinking, is this day? Is this night? And I think part of that's the breakup between the yellows and the blues. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, a lot of my paintings are about overlapping space and time. Mm -hmm. And so they're not always um, distinctly um, a specific time or place. They often overlap. I, I may start out with an idea and then I will lay objects or shapes over top of my original design and therefore let the original design come through and create something entirely different. So it, it almost looks like you're looking at two different spaces because of the overlapping and the merging of spaces to create a new space. Well, and it's interesting because, and that makes so much sense, because sometimes the structures, one structure will pop forward more than another, which gives this idea of like, your brain can view it as multiple different depths. You have what looks like plant life and things like that. and. Uh, it sometimes looks like it's in the foreground, sometimes it yeah. recedes some, mm -hmm. and I think that that's really interesting conceptually because when you're talking about a structure like a home, yeah. mm -hmm. it has many different perspectives, it moves over time and things like that. It's really beautiful. Oh, well, thank you very much. And there was a, a plant um, or a tree or some kind of live um, foliage underneath that, and then as I laid objects and shapes over top, I wound up keeping some of that and incorporating it into the um, composition. It wasn't intended, but that's what winds up happening. That I push and pull. I paint over existing um, designs and shapes and, and colors, and I decide what I'm going to keep as I go so based on whether or not it when, works. When you're starting this, what did you start with? a singular composition and then you build over yes. it? Okay. I started with uh, uh, the simple structures and then I went over top of it and put the structures right over top of the existing structures. Then I did a, a portion that probably had a pot and I had a, a plant in there because there is often plant, plants in my paintings. Mm. And then again, I went over top of that, but I kept some of the plant life and uh, it just kind of evolves by itself. That's it. I think yeah. that's really, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I think that the, uh, as a viewer, when I look at this, I get a sense of evolving, mm -hmm. uh, of, of changing. Yeah. Every time I walked by it or looked at it mm -hmm. on the, as an image, um, I, would, I would pick out something else. Of course, I'm attracted to this little red that shows up here yeah. a little bit mm -hmm. there, that takes me into the door of the house. Yes, it initially was the door on the first structure, but that I, I wound up keeping that because it did work over the course of the painting. It survived. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I also want to talk a little bit about your palette because the colors that you're choosing are interesting, like you, you're choosing um, muted shades of blue and yellow and mm -hmm. then a few other colors in there, obviously green. It's a little bit different than a lot of the palettes you see in different work. How did you come to this palette? What are you working with? I've just kind of um, 
evolved to this palette, and I've been using it over and over again. It's yeah. what I'm working with now. Uh, it's always got the blue, always has the blues and the the oranges, so those warm and cools. But um, I everything I'm, I'm painting of Lee is this palette. Yeah. Right, and in both of them, um, I'm very aware of art history and Cezanne, and I see touches of Cezanne in the kind of red you're using, in the blues you're using, in the cream and the yellows. Did, did, and you seem to be fracturing space as you're building it, uh, which makes it look so deliberate. So did you think about Cezanne at all? No, I didn't. <laughs> I just get lost in my studio. <laughs> and uh, I just start to paint, and um, it's a little journey. And I try to let the painting dictate some of the outcome. Um, if if I can do that. Right. A lot of times I try to control it, but it's better if I <laughs> try to control it. The outcome's better if I kind of let I the think, painting take one. I think bit most painters would agree with you on that, that you know, mm -hmm. uh, that you have to be reacting to whatever is mm -hmm. in front of you, especially Cezanne. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I also was really attracted to the round shape mm -hmm. up there because it just reminds me of a moon rising or yeah. some kind, you know, yeah. once again, change. Yes, yeah, so I deliberately put that shape in there and I didn't know um, the role that it was going to play, but it, it is sort of like a moon that just came, kind of came out that way. And some of the underneath came through that moon shape and uh, it, it had a, a kind of a cool effect. I also like that you have given room for people to approach the structure so it feels like I'm walking up to these structures yeah. from down the road and that I'm approaching them and it's giving me time to observe what's happening as I approach, which I think is really nice. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, um, and I think everyone who comes to Pauline Arts from now to November 20th should go and approach Jackie's painting so that they can perhaps either go around or go into what we see here. Thank you so Thank much for having me. Thank you.